Hey everybody and welcome back to the farm. Since last episode, we have gotten our soil samples done by a geologist. So I'm just going to show you that right here. So this is our land right here. Got that done. You can see the soil types, our pH levels, and nitrogen levels. Here's our other land over here. This is our pasture. And this is just another field. So today the plan is to go and get some cows. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get well let's say 50. Start with 50 cows. It's a decent amount of quota to start with. So that's gonna be it's gonna be about nine loads of this trailer. So it's gonna be a little bit of a process. Oh, wrong button. All right, we got it hooked up. We'll go out the main lane right here. And we'll go pick them up at the animal dealer as A, it's cheaper to do it this way, and B, we are getting low on funds for the farm. We only have $109,000 left. So things are getting tight around here. As we still have planting and other fun things to do for our cash crop operation side of the farm. So hopefully we can get some return on these cows late later in the season perhaps. I do have seasons on so it is hard to say exactly. I'm not really sure when the milk starts coming in but I'm sure it's going to pay off over time anyways. Turn a left right here. Go down the road. And we'll take another left right here. And just down at the end of this lane here is the animal dealer. Oh, let me stay on the road here somewhat. Alrighty, so I need to kind of do a little turn thing right here. Back up the trailer into that little spot. Let's open the door of the trailer here first. There we go, it's swinging open. So we can load up. There we go. Alrighty, so we are gonna go dairy cows. So let's get some Holsteins. Um, so we will get. Oh, trailer's full. Alright, it only holds six. Okay. Let's confirm. Oh, there goes twelve thousand dollars. Yeah, this is getting pretty expensive. All right, so we have the cows loaded up. We'll bring them back to the farm. And we'll put them in the big barn. We'll start with the big barn instead of the other little outdoor kind of husbandry area, as. The water is not hooked up to that yet, and don't really have the money right now to do that, so we're just going to stick to one barn, which will be fine. I'm thinking we're probably going to get some bulls as well, just so we can breed and not have to always buy. So that will be nice. 
So I think I'm gonna get probably two bowls. I think that would be a good amount. I'm not sure how many cows two will breed, but time will tell, so I'll just start with that. And the rest will be these Holsteins, so we can maximize milk capacity. We will not be doing any field work in today's episode, it's just pretty much going to be getting the cows all set up here, so... Sorry about that. Alrighty, we will just go right around here. So I'm gonna have to actually drive through the barn as I kind of gate in the area of the barn where you place the cows into this barn. Oops, kind of hit the side there. So just pull right through here into this yard. Kind of have to do an awkward back up here. Alright, we'll open the door here. Swing it open. Oh. Actually, I hit that post. Don't mind me. Alright, that will do it. Let's move all these in here. And let's confirm. So I believe they're unloaded now. Yes. Alright. Just gonna exit through the barn once again. Not the best way of doing things, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna provide a time lapse for you guys of me grabbing the rest of these cows as I don't want this video to be taking too too long of the same thing. So I will get back to you guys after I have all the cows into the barn. Alright, I have decided that I've spent enough money on cattle for now as I don't want to go into the red quite yet. We can always add more cattle later. So I'm just going to park the cattle trailer right back where it was. 
and we are going to just go and mix some TMR. For those of you that don't know what TMR is, it's just total mixed ration. Always leave the truck right here. All right. Get on the Minneapolis here and start up. All right. Hope this loader is gonna reach into that mixer wagon there. All right, bring it up. Stab right in this bale. All right, bring it down. Just gonna get off here and unwrap this bale. I think I can unwrap it. Maybe I can. Hmm. All right, forget about unwrapping it. We'll just put it in the trailer as is. So we're going to put one more silage bale in here. Right. Here we go. Oops, I didn't grab this bale well at all. Can I get in there? Okay. There we go. Let that mix. Looks like our straw bale pile here kind of knocked over. That's fine. Let's grab one straw bale. Oops. I didn't grab that very well, oops. Alright, here we go. Beautiful. Just pop it right in there, let it mix up. Bring it up. There we go. Oops. Loader stuck on the wagon. This is not a very appropriate loader for this mixer wagon, but it's what we have, so we have to make it work. And finally, one hay bale, and that should be good for the TMR. Perfect. Now let's put this tractor right over here again. Drop down the loader. Beautiful. Alright, let's hop in the international here. We have our 16,000 liters of TMR, so I'll run that over. I'm not exactly sure which side this wagon will unload on, but I think. It does both sides, so should be good. Gotta love this old international tractor. All right. Now we'll just dump out this. TMR. It's taking quite a bit. This will definitely last a while. Just back right out. 
I think water is already in there. Let me just double check here what we have. Okay. Oh. This is it. Okay, here we go. So. Oh, I still need water. Can I just do this? Yes. Perfect. I'll let that fill up. Alright, great. Water is filling up. We'll go put this back into the hay shed. And we'll call it good. The yard's a little uneven here. <laughs> Back the tractor right back in here where it was, somewhere around the proximate area. There we go, wonderful. Straighten out, and we'll call that good. So, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please smash that like button as it helps out the video a lot.